Okay. Um, the next step is to co-register your data. So now the reason why you co-register is you, you really want to just line up your images at pixel level so that they are accurately lined up. And so ignore all the things on my screen at the moment. I've got a lot more data because I've already gone through the steps. Um, so I'll just briefly walk you through them. So you're going to click here on radar and you're going to go to Sentinel-1 tops and you go to Sentinel tops split. And so what we're doing here, and it's actually nice if I can show you a picture in this tutorial, which I didn't realize before. Okay, so what we've downloaded, and I think in the previous video I said, what the heck is w, I, W1 and IW2 and IW3? Well, now I know. <laughs> so this is what I've downloaded in the block, um, and they're called sub swaths. So the original image was a swath, I assume, and these are the sub swaths um, going down. And then these smaller rectangles labeled one to nine are the bursts. And so I think I assume that this data is just so big, like it was four gigabytes, we want to try and reduce it down to these smaller areas exactly where we need it so that it improves processing time. That is what I assume that we're doing here. And so that is this top split. And we're literally splitting it up into these bursts. And so, um, I'm just trying to look what I've done here. You can see, the, this was number one, two, three is what I've loaded before. And then, ignore four, I should delete it, but I can't figure out how. Five, six, and seven is me taking number one, two, three. And then, at the end, the program has added this word split. Because I've applied this window to it, I've split it up. I've just taken out the bursts that I want. And so once you've opened up the split windows, if you go here, um, so sorry, it automatically chose one for me. And we're literally going to move through one, two, and three. So let's choose one. And then it's going to output um, the file name and it adds splits onto the end. And it's showing you where it's saving it. So if you click on processing parameters, this is where it helps you really see what w, IW1, 2, and 3 is. So this is this box of Sentinel-1 data that I've just downloaded from the website. And this drop down here shows us the different sub swaths that I've just mentioned. To remind you again, if we look at this image, it's these different like, bands with, or sub swaths within the swath. And you can scroll through them. So that's, um, so you can see these small the white rectangles are these bursts within IW1. And if I click on IW2, it's this next row of bursts that I think there's a bit of overlap and IW3 is these last bit of bursts. And so you want to find the ones that is directly over your area. I am not 100% sure how you make sure where your area is. I really had to open up my area on Google Earth. I'll show you here. Figure out where's your office fontaine. I could see here, so there might be a better way to do this. I'm just showing you how much I couldn't figure it out. These white regions here on Google Earth I, I pretty much look like this white region here. This I know is the country of Lesotho that I see the HS. I just approximated where I needed to have my um, swaths. So this is far, too far over in my mind. I went with IW1. I feel that my region is about over here. For polarization, oh, I don't think I've got it up still. VH is that you, your wave or the date, the, the energy going to the earth is vertical and coming back is the horizontal wave, whereas VV is vertical going in, vertical coming back. But I didn't understand much more than that. I don't know if I don't think I've still got the image here, but you can you can Google it. So I'm using VV, and um, just because I saw it in one of the other tutorials, I, somewhere else I read it that it didn't make too much of a difference, but I'm not too sure about that. And then the last option here are these bursts. So you can see the different rectangles, and you can click on this gray arrow here on the left or the right and reduce the number of bursts, and it's nice that it shows it to you on the screen. So you can see we're cutting out the bursts at the bottom, I don't think, I think my area is about over here. So I'm taking out these bottom bursts and this top burst. I don't want to push my limits too much. I'm worried that's cutting into my area. Probably don't need as many at the bottom. Um, the original tutorial I looked at, so I mean here I've got five to eight. Hmm, I, want, I worry that 
they're not 100% sure because they're on the screen here. Is it five, six, seven, eight? Oh, that's four, sorry. And there's one, two, three, four shown on the screen. So I think that's about right. I don't know if there's a risk if you have too few. And when you click run, it'll generate the split file. And then you come back and you do it again, but you change this to number two. And my one and two, you can even see it on this map here, kind of cover the same area, but at different times. So one was on the first of the eighth and two is on the 13th of the eighth and i'm using both of them for now so they this red region here um and so it made it a bit easier when i went to processing steps because i kind of then had an idea where the heck i was which sub swath i wanted and how many of the births so it's iw1 because we said my region was around here and then i've reduced the number of bursts at the bottom might be a bit easier to zoom in um, and like I said, I think my area is about here, so I could reduce some of the bursts down there, and maybe I'll do one at the top. I don't even know if it's worth risking it. I think it should be fine, hopefully. And you click run. And then when I come back, my third image here, you'll see on this, uh, it doesn't change it. It's this, you can see number three here, this block slightly to the side. And the area I'm interested in is on this overlap region between the two of them. And so region three is slightly more, not, not difficult, but just different. Um, because remember, my region I'm interested in is between Lesotho over here and this white region. So it's about up here. So I'm no longer going to use IW1. I'm going to use IW3. And I'm going to reduce the bursts at the bottom. Oh, my computer's going to die. And I, before my computer dies, come up, and maybe about there, I run it. And look at that gave me those split files there. And so, yeah, that's how you split it up. And you can see now, I'm now on the screen, my split files that are in, of interest are five, six, and seven. And that's like in the smaller region here. Can I zoom in? Um, interesting. So it's labeled it as such. So this was my um, smaller regions. I'm just trying to look. Five, six, seven. Is it just labeling all of them there? So I think it's it's these smaller regions within these larger blocks.